Well, no rest for the GOP field as the four candidates spread out across three different states less than 24 hours after the primary votes were tallied in Florida. Republicans there handed Mitt Romney a convincing victory over Newt Gingrich, and both candidates reacted to those results with their eye on the ultimate prize. There are fewer candidates tonight than uh, when the race began, uh, but uh, three gentlemen are uh, serious and able competitors, and they're still in the race, and I want to congratulate them on another hard-fought contest in this campaign. Primary contests are not easy, and they're not supposed to be. As this primary unfolds, our opponents in the other party have been watching, and they like to comfort themselves with the thought that a competitive campaign will leave us divided and weak. But I've got news for them. A competitive primary does not divide us, it prepares us, and we will win. We did this in part for the elite media because, uh, you know, the same people who said I was dead in June and July and said I was gone after Iowa, who seemed totally quiet the night of the South Carolina victory, are, are now going to be back saying, what's he going to do, what's he going to do, what's he going to do? So I just want to reassure them tonight. We are going to contest every place, and we are going to win, and we will be in Tampa as the nominee in August. Joining us now with the reaction, our special focus group, a group of Republican voters trying to make up their minds in this presidential contest. All right, so, so now you have both of the frontrunners saying outright, oh, it's going to go on. Mitt Romney saying, that's a good thing. Fine. Uh, that's not going to divide us. It's going it's to make us stronger. And Newt Gingrich saying, great, glad you feel that way. I'll be with you all the way till August. How do you feel about it, David Selig? Well, I thought it was fantastic. And again, I thought Newt Gingrich really distinguished himself. He reminds me right now of how Julius Caesar took a strategic retreat <laughs> and lured Pompey to Pharsalus <laughs> only to defeat him brilliantly. I suspect Mr. Gingrich is going to so cut <laughs> through those 46 states like a knife. Go ahead, Tom Borelli. <laughs> Romney really needs to thank Gingrich because he made him a much better candidate. It made him toughen up. It showed that he can go down and dirty when he needs to because at the end of the day, if he's the nominee, he's going to have to go against that Chicago machine. We talked so about this uh, last time, and, and most of our panelists believe that Romney was getting better, that these others were getting better as a result of this ongoing process. But do you think, nonetheless, uh, it should go on even more? Because there are some who are getting uncomfortable with that, including, and we'll play this sound bite in a minute, Rick Santorum. Go ahead, Tracy Davis. Well, I think that Ron, um, Gingrich self-destructed. His worst enemy is himself, and he, he got back to that mean, uh, whiny, you know, thin-skinned, got off of his message in Florida, and so he just got trampled. And then when in a speech, when he was talking about this positive, you know, message about he what did. he was going to do, he, was bringing he a sounded message. very, it, it was a great speech, but it was too late. I mean, if he had stayed on message in Florida, but he, the problem is he puts himself in a box in a lot of ways, like with the debates. I can beat Obama, and then he wasn't good in the debates in Florida. And then when he's attacking the elite media, I mean, if he's a president, he's going to have to deal with the media. Mm -hmm. And he, if, he's, if he wins the nomination, he's going to have to deal with a billion-dollar bomb. Well, last night he was, he was sort of, of above bomb. board, Newt Gingrich. He talked about a positive campaign, and he didn't really, you know, he said no, that remark yeah. about the elite media, <laughs> but he didn't, go, he didn't go after the, the media that much. Uh, he's been accused in recent days of being too whiny, of being a well, whiner, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and it, that's been a turnoff to some voters on the Republican side. John Spencer, what do you think about it? Well, last night I thought that uh, I'd give credit, a lot of credit to Governor Romney and his campaign staff for the strategic moves they made between South Carolina and Florida. And uh, Mitt Romney just excelled in the debates. Their ground organization in Florida did a terrific job. And they gave uh, Newt Gingrich one hell of a beating. And uh, so now the comments last night by Governor Romney, I thought, was very high-spirited, presidential, and he's off to a great start. As far as continuing it, uh, I think there comes a time, you know, and I, I know Newt is going to stay in there and Santorum, but I hope that emotions calm down and people come together and uh, follow Mitt Romney's guide about unity and moving forward. And uh, the ultimate prize but is why, the but they, they all want unity, but they all want it behind themselves. Why should Newt get out? Why should Rick Santorum? Why should Ron Paul get out no, now? I, There's only 6% of the delegates awarded, yeah, Mary Walker. Well, Ron, Romney still needs over 1,500 delegates. No, this no, is I, so far from over, you know, but I think that the, the votes so far have really reflected who did the best in the debates. So it was very interesting. You know, Gingrich did really well in South Carolina in the debates. He won. Romney did really well in Florida. 
he won. So I think we're seeing the debates really become a ref we're seeing that reflected now in the primary votes. Is, but really is that real? Because at most the GOP nominee is going to have to debate President Obama three times at most right. in the month of October. So whether you think Romney's the guy for the debate or you think Newt is the guy for the debate or one of the others, is, is this a realistic benchmark for who's going to take on President Obama? John Tobacco. I don't, I don't think it's about the debates. I think it's really about message. And I think what's, what's motivated uh, Newt followers up to now is a good message of, hey, I'm the guy that went across the aisle. I'm the guy that balanced the budget. I'm the guy that understands fiscal conservatism. And, you know, Mitt Romney, no matter how many times he wants to change his point of view, he can't give that message. I think what Newt needs to do, and I thought it was important last night that he said, I'm going for 46 more states, but what he needs to do is stay directly on his message. I'm a fiscal conservative. I've balanced the budget, and I did not put Romney care in place in Massachusetts. All right, so we heard those two saying, okay, it's right. fine to have it go on, and we heard Newt saying, and, and, and I will be there. So those of you who count me out for dead, like you've done twice before, don't do that this time just because I lost Florida. And then Rick Santorum came out with a bit of a different message. The American public does not want to see two or three candidates get into a mud, uh, you know, a mud wrestling match where everybody walks away dirty and not in a position to be able to represent our party, party proudly. We're going to have differences on the issues, and we need to talk about those differences on the issues. But what we saw in the last few weeks in the state of Florida is not something that's going to help us win this election. No. John Bramnick, did it get too ugly? Uh, no. First of all, Gingrich talks about me, 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 and Romney spoke on the large picture. He was very presidential. Gingrich, it's over. It's done. He says he's coming back. He's not going anywhere. Why not? He's not coming back because this message caught one time, and you saw once he got Two in, times. Well, December, he had a surge, and then before South Carolina. But the, re the real was, was South Carolina. So he then gets into a debate. He's a front runner, and I think he collapses. It's clear because once he's in charge, it seems as if he just can't handle that position. But he's never going to, he's not going to give up, that's for sure. Right. He's going to go sure. in and yeah. Yeah. Lauren Pistone, what do you think? I think Newt's starting to show weakness. He's starting to get tired after two debates. Obama's going to go steady and go hard. And I don't think Newt can put up with that. I don't think Newt can challenge that. The, the thing about Newt's, Newt was he didn't have a moment yeah, before the Florida. Moment. You know, he right. had a couple of moments, and we debated those here as a panel, right. before the South Carolina primary, before the Florida right. panel, he didn't have a breakout moment in the debate. If he get, And, Dee Dee, Benke, you don't like Newt. You're but, right. But, <laughs> no, I really, but you really saw don't like how it. the crowd <laughs> reacted to him before South Carolina. If he were the nominee against President Obama and he had one of those moments, could he even you get behind him. Oh. Yes, she could. <laughs> mm, yes. That's not going to happen. And I think oh, that Newt is more like Brutus because he says he's going to go all the way until the end. And all that does is going to hurt Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney is the presidential one. He's going to be our nominee. And Newt Gingrich is an anti candidate. He's anti loud audience. He's anti silent audience. He's anti Brian Williams. He's anti Juan Williams. He's anti everything. He's acting like grumpy old man, sad sack, sore loser. And he's not going to be the nominee. What about Rick Santorum? He's, he's somebody who's tried to keep it above board. He's tried not to get ugly. He's been uh, lost by a lot of conservatives as the most conservative in this race and yet why aren't we discussing him why isn't he a top go, go ahead John Spencer Megan, Megan like you said it, it's gonna go on because they say it's gonna go on but some at some point people got to start listening including Newt and Rick and Rick Rick is running a great campaign and he rises to the high level but the money factor the electability factor these things are reality gonna set in and people have to start making decisions and I maintain that Mitt Romney is going to continue doing what he did in Florida. What he did in Florida is huge. Let's look at the yes. numbers. It, it required a lot of money, though. It's huge. It required it $17 that, million. Dollars. Right, and that, but that's, a, blue, that's, more, that's a blueprint for the next right. month and the next two months. He's going to do it again. Well, that was well, Newt's first be, test. It can't be a, can't be a coronation right. of one candidate. What we've seen so far is Newt's actually made Romney a better candidate. Yes. Right. So to put pressure on these guys that they should be out of the race, and, you know, Romney's talking about unity. Santorum's talking about mud wrestling. Uh, at the same time, they're both spending millions of dollars with negative attack ads, mm -hmm. so their, their message is kind of split. How, how many people here uh, are considering voting for Ron Paul? Okay, Mary. Uh, <laughs> I'm always All right, so that, but this is, this is interesting, because how, of the rest of you, how many like having Ron Paul in this contest and in these debates? Absolutely. 
Interesting. So you don't want him out. You like yeah. what? What do you like about it? What do you think, Tom? He's honest. He's consistent. Yes. He's got a great economic great policy. He's yes. got, you know, audit the Fed. That's what Romney needs to do to reach out to the Tea so Party. Romney him? needs to why do not that. Why not vote for him? Why not vote for him? Because of his foreign policy. Is that true? Iran, no way. It's a misunderstanding. If he had a really good running mate, he would be a great candidate. He's going to leave us a little bit too. Is a good running mate going to change Ron Paul's views on foreign policy? He gets like Herc says, Harmon. He's going to do a 180 on Iran. Do no, but I think not the vice president doesn't. Go ahead, Mary. Do you know what it is? Is I want a candidate to leave me alone. I truly do. I want the candidate who's going. to, I always said I want Democrats out of my wallet and Republicans out of my bedroom, and that's Ron Paul. I want these people to just leave me alone, and that's what I really like about him. And everything you said, he's honest. You know exactly what consistent, you're getting. Yeah. He's consistent. Why can't we find the, the, someone? I, I somehow, to I feel like a lot of your Republican male fans just off. switched their party registration. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> All right, panel. Until the next time. Great job, as always. Thank, Thank you. you all. So interesting, right? What are your thoughts, Kelly at FoxNews.com?